my name is Terry from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is video 9 in our Bohemian Summer series. Now, um, the kit we're using is called Bohemian Summer and um, it's a collaboration between Line Dot Arrow and Nonstop Paper Crafts with each of them having half of the kit on their Etsy shops. So, this is the little snapshots of what's included in the kit. There's 17 pages in um, Suzanne's kit and there's 17 pages in Natalie's kit and actually I did that backwards this is Natalie's um, and so that gives you a total of 34 pages to play with which is plenty now we're doing the cover and when we left off we had the cover which is a perfectly good cover but I couldn't figure out what to put on it. I'm not very good at layering. All the stuff I had to layer made it look shabby chic. You know what I mean? It was cream and it was thicker like lace and I don't know, appliques and things like that. And it just didn't look right. It looked like it was changing the whole style. And I had this piece of material that was actually quite big. It was probably this big by this big. Um, from my friend Teresa Cates and um, I laid this down over the cover and I decided I really liked it. Then I realized how am I going to attach it. I already got my book corners on. The inside cover is already done. So it's not like I could wrap it around and glue it, put some lace around the inside and then put the book corners on. So I totally messed that up but I didn't realize I was going to use this on the cover either for little benefit of the doubt on my part. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, I've got it clipped at the top so that I can flip it up without having any trouble. And what we're going to do is we are going to take Fabri-Tac, yes I know, and we're going to glue it down around the edges. We're not going to glue the center. We want to have enough to close it then depending on how bad the glue is which we're going to see it I'm pretty sure I want to try to do as thin as possible and the beads are going to hide it in some places but I've got this black lace and I've got enough to go all the way around um, you know what I didn't think of though what about when we cut it Am I going to end up with pieces that meet in the middle? You see, because then I'm going to have this, and this isn't long enough to do this. Let's see. Then I have this. That's long enough. And then this should be long enough. Okay. All right, I just thought of that. I'm, I'm thinking of things at the last second over and over again. It's taken me a day and the help of some of my friends to kind of figure out what to do. They said to just glue it down and go with it. Um, and then I said, well, I'll just slap some lace on there. <laughs> and that's kind of where we're at. So we're going to have to do the sides first and then lift the bottom up and glue it and lift the top down and glue it because if we do the bottom first then we can't lift it up to glue the sides okay so got our fabric tack we have our nerves intact hopefully we're going to lose the book covers We're not going to be able to see them if we have to put lace on then it's really going to be gone they're really going to be gone but um, like I said live and let live um, it covers and reinforces the corners so we won't have to worry about them Fabri-Tac will stick to it so without any further ado and on another note as you know I have four more of these um, in different colors and the only problem is this is the only piece of this that I have. So I can make a new cover, but I would have to figure out something else to do to decorate it. Okay, so let's take our Fabri-Tac and cross our fingers and hope for the best. 
we'll put a thin a thin bead along the edge we won't go too far let's just go that far and then we're gonna smear it with our finger to make it even less but still sticky I bet you're gonna see it more over the book cover the bookends and then we're going to lay it back down Oh, if I can do it that thin all the way around, we might be in like Flynn. The only problem is, how do I make sure I'm doing it straight? You know what I mean? Like, this way and that way. Okay, we're here. We're here. One, two, thin. Ooh. to a thin amount and when I wipe it I'm going to wipe it towards the edge so that I'm not going in any further than I already am. The problem with the lace is lace putting the lace down over the um, the beads but if we can keep gluing like this, I don't think we're going to have to do anything. I think there'll be a couple spots, like there's a little spot right there. But I think in the overall scheme of things, it's the lesser of two evils. So let's put that down and flip it back this way. We don't want to pull it too tight because I want to leave the pattern where I've got it. And I also want to have enough flex in here to be able to close it. Um, it is going to make it loose in the middle, but um, you're not going to have it flat like this with the signatures in it anyway. Okay, so let's do this side. And we'll do the bottom, and then we'll take the clips off, flip the top down, and do the top. Oh, look at that. Of course it did. Looks like the hardest part is going to be cutting it off. Yeah, see, I knew it was probably going to show on the book corners. It was where that little bit of extra glue came out. Just like right there. Let's stick this back in here just so it doesn't decide to volcano on me again. It hardly ever does that with the sweet, whatever that is, sweet bell sugar bottle. Oh, look at that. That's a mess. Yeah, 
and you want to make sure most of it stays on the material. But what I was going to say is you want to make sure you don't have too much on your finger. Um, and then touch something else. Now there's a tear right here as well. We're going to glue it down along the edge. Oh, that's why I was going to have the lace was to cover it. Let's see what it looks like when we put it down. I think it's all going to work except for this tear. So far, so good. I've got some loose beads. And I think what I'll do is I'll glue them on top of that and make it look like it's part of the pattern. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. Now, of course, we can't glue over our um, eyelets. We have to just go past them. you know, in between. I forgot to smear it, that's why. It's too late for right there. I think what it's going to come down to now is how well can I cut it around these beads. See, that was part of what the lace was going to help cover. What in the world? Why is it doing this to me now? force whatever's in there to come out until I hear air and there's nothing left in there the volcano can't believe it's doing that to me This is so sheer, it doesn't take very much glue at all to hold it down. I think so far so good. Put some beads on that. We can take our clips off.
Now here we do want to pull it a little bit. So we don't want it just hanging loosey-goosey everywhere. It's going to, like I said, it's going to buckle up in the center. Let me get some of this glue off my finger. Dry glue. Okay. Uh, but it's going to be a little loose in the middle. But there's nothing we can do about that. We could have run a bead of glue up the center. But I didn't know what it was going to look like. Um, if I had known it was going to work this well, I wouldn't have left it to cut afterwards. Also, the trick is to tap, tap it down and then um, not use the finger that you just rubbed the glue with and then just kind of ball the glue up and get it off your finger. I'm talking quiet because it's 1.30 in the morning. I woke up at 11, I couldn't sleep, so finally at 10 after 12 I made a cup of coffee. Whoops. Now this one has three at the top. Because we've got the one, we're going to have to um, take the crocodile and cut through the material so that we can um, add our uh, ring on thought of that just now. <laughs> Actually this is so sheer. There's got to be another way. I bet I could use my pokey tool. I bet I could use my pokey tool and go right through it. Okay, we're almost all the way around. wipe it too far back. You don't want to. And I went a little long. I did a little too much glue at once because um, it started to dry. The material soaks it up. All right, we're glued all the way around. Um, and in my opinion, it looks fine. Now I have to try to cut this, and this is why I'm going to end up having to put the lace on. Because to cut around this bead, I don't know, let me think about this for a second. If we... Look at that. And it came out perfect, except for having to cut it. Well, we're either going to have to use lace or we're not. Right? This went well. We can hope that the scissors part goes well.
I don't want to cut the cover material either and I'm sorry that I'm not talking I'm just trying to get this and it is boho I don't think it has to be exactly perfect I just don't want it to look like a five-year-old chopped at it saving them all. Anybody else want to follow? I think it'll touch that area up a little bit that's hard right there on the book corner. And it helps that this is very sheer and very thin. Well, I guess sheer and thin are probably the same thing. couldn't tell where I left off. Just munching that edge right there. doing that all along. Oh, no, not really. No, I'm probably off camera, but I have to do this where I have to do it, you know what I mean? See if we can get in between them.
sorry about that. I thought I put my phone in the other room. It's probably Tammy telling me that I have a coupon. I should have done this on the top. I should have gone halfway, flipped it around, and gone the other way. So, lesson learned. Now we only have that one bead right there and that one little bead right there to worry about. However, that means you're going to see this edge much better than you're going to see the other edges. Okay, I'll be off camera again. You guys, I think we're fine. I don't think we need any lace. Let me show you. I think it got glued down. And I don't think we need any lace around it at all. I can live with the little teeny bit of glue you can see. I'm afraid there's a couple of places with the cover that I would want to go back and cut a little bit closer, but I'm afraid to go chopping in there, you know what I mean, and then make like a hole or whatever. Now this hole right here, this little tear, I'm wondering if I can glue some beads on it. And just make it look like it's supposed to be this way. Like this. Like I cut it off the edge. Or this one's even smaller. No, it's not. If I move this up a little bit, then I can 
do this like this and this like this I think that'll work fine so let's glue the bottom two on first And you can still see the book covers just fine, or corners. Okay, I've got more glue on my finger than I do on the bead. So this time I'm putting glue on here. <laughs> In fact, oh, I don't have another one of these. All right, let me clean it off. Oh, the Fabri-Tac takes the finish right off. It did, it took the finish right off of it. All right, being more careful. Because it's got acetone in it. We'll place the bead on the acetone. Okay. Well, ladies and gents, I think we got away with it. The material is so sheer that where I kind of messed up on the edge a little bit, you can't see it. And by messed up, I just mean a little jagged here and there. Now it's too bad I didn't have a long enough strip of this because I could have tied it shut with this. That would have been cool. I am hoping we don't need a tie at all. If we do, um, I have some um, plain sorry and um, yeah, this one, the whole, everything's come off of it. Um, and I can dye it the, um, what do you call it? Salvaged patina. Sorry about that. I couldn't think of it. I had a brain freeze there at quarter to two in the morning. But anyway, we could tie it shut with this if we needed to, and if I dyed it that blue I think it would go well because we got the blue in the cover and all that or I could dye it brown I could go with a vintage photo I'm not sure I want to make it that plain though 
I think I would want to make it the blue. Okay, so we'll put our signatures in. That only took 30 minutes. Hmm. That sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Somebody fell off. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly where, but somebody went flying. Okay, so now we're going to put our signatures in here. We're going to put our stuff in the pockets. So now this is signature one. And the way we do this is we slide it up under the wire or the cord. And we have to be careful. We've got a bunch of stuff, beads and whatnot hanging everywhere and getting caught on the other cord. And we just pull it through. Making sure that it's right side up. And then we just close it. And then we do the same thing with the other one. And then believe it or not, we'll be done. <laughs> Wow. I don't know how lucky I got with that. I'm pretty sure very lucky would be the word I'm looking for. Now this one, it seems like there's a lot less stuff on this side. It's just a scrap hanging out. Unless it was a tab that came unglued. Why isn't there anything on this half? Just lace. Hmm. I think I probably thought this was over here, so there was something on that side hanging out. But there's lace. And it's the end. And there's nothing we can do about it now. Yeah. And so there's their, that half. And you see it makes the butterfly. see how bad this is going to be. Oh, look at that. We don't even need a closure. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's still too loosey-goosey for me in the spine. Um, let's get all the stuff hanging out. Where are my tassels? So we've got all this. We've got our feather. We still have beads flying everywhere. Let's get this turned around. There's a way to do it where the feather lays. There it is. But you see, it's too loose. You see what I'm saying? It just, um, so, yeah, that's it. We're done. That didn't take very long at all. Let's put these in the pockets. This goes in the front pocket. That I couldn't see until I let's put it over a little bit so that it fits right in that frame. Wow, how lucky is that? Look at that. It fits right in that frame. We'll put this in the back. And what I want to do, and what I'm gonna be able to do are probably two different things. And then I want to hang this. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Unless I put it on the other way. 
on the pen. Okay, take that off, this off, and we'll flip it over and put it back on. Then let's see what we're what we're what we got what we've got. There we go. That's what I wanted. Put this in here. Put this on the outside. Very nice. That got it. Then we can see our belly band with our little ticket. Now in the next video will be our flip through. Get in there. Anyway, our little ticket. And um, and so that goes there like that. And it swings and you can see your tag. Okay. Alright. Hmm. We hold it with our thumb. It puts the lotion on its skin. Oh, I'm sorry. What is that? Oh, it's from the lace. Okay. So, that's that. And we have our boho journal. Okay. Well, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for going on this journey with me with my first time doing a boho journal and waiting while I trim the edges out and uh, all that good stuff. <laughs> I had a heart attack. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video series. And, uh, well, the next video actually for the flip through, but after that I'll see you in the next video series, and that'll be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye.